welcome to my kitchen, friends. Uh, so we're going to be trying something new in 2022. I'm going to make you guys some YouTube videos of my recipes, me cooking, all that fun stuff. Uh, I'm sure there's going to be lots of bloopers, outtakes, all of that. Um, Andy got me a GoPro for Christmas, which I just tried setting up and it didn't work because there's no SD card. So we're going to wing this with just the phone. And we're gonna see how this first YouTube video is gonna turn out. Uh, today on the menu is chicken pot pie. Uh, and not to be confused with your nice little crust and all of that uh, Lancaster County family, we do the soup version of chicken pot pie with dumplings inside, homemade dough dumplings. So I'm super excited. Got my mise en place ready. Uh, pretty much just set my station up. We are going to start by chopping up onions, garlic, celery, and I also have some carrots. Uh, again, don't really measure too much. We'll have more and full details on the blog. Make sure you subscribe. Oh, disclaimer, I do not have the best knife skills uh, as there have been times that I have cut myself. So no judgment here, guys. We are not professionally trained. We just love food. We love to cook and we love to eat it, most importantly. We don't always put carrots in our chicken pot pie, but I have them, so we're going to add them. And by saying I had carrots, I only had baby carrots. Okay, friends, uh, let's take a walk in my kitchen. We're going to go over to the stove. I am not sure how I feel about this because this little doohickey moves with me and the camera. Actually, if you're a big fan of uh, Pioneer Woman, they use this thing. I don't know what it's called. Andy got it for me. Uh, I do love it. It makes things so much easier. Uh, but here we are at my stove. Ta-da! This is my new stock pot that I just got. Um, and by just got, I got it a while ago. It was on sale. Uh, 12 quarts. So we are making a big pot of chicken pot pie. So friends, in case you were wondering, you cannot do a camera flip while recording. So here we are. Uh, right now I am just heating up some oil. We brought everything over here. I am using boneless chicken thighs because that's what's in my freezer. I just kind of salt and peppered them a little bit. All of my veggies are here. I kept my garlic separate because I don't want it to burn and it will be added last. Okay, so this is gonna be a little bit harder than I thought. When Andy's home, he is usually my cameraman, but of course he's not home. Uh, we are going to have some seasonings here to taste along the way. I have a little bit of oregano, parsley, white pepper, black pepper, and salt. So here we go, friends. Starting with our veggies, we got the sizzle, that's what we like. So I am just going to give everything a quick stir, coat it in the oil a little bit, let it saute a few minutes. I'm going to add salt and pepper. We're just going to start with black pepper for now. And let's add a dash of parsley. All right, let's give you guys a quick peek. Take a quick look. We just have them sauteing. Here, the sizzle as we brown the chicken a little bit. Get all the veggies out of the way. So we flipped the chicken and then I added the garlic and we gave everything a nice little stir. So we are going to add the water. Okay friends, we added a few quarts, giving it one last 
toaster, scraping any goodness off the bottom. Added more seasoning. We turned up the heat a little bit. We are going to bring this to a boil. Once it starts to boil, we are, will cover with the lid, reduce the heat, and let it simmer. Okay, friends, as my chicken broth is getting ready, we are going to prep our potatoes. I think that I need to start a tally for how many times I say, okay, friends, uh, maybe I need a new catchphrase. So we are going to prep our potatoes. I don't add the potatoes while I'm making the broth, mainly because you don't need to add them for any added flavor. Plus they would be like mush if I added them too early. Okay friends, now we are going to make our dough dumplings. In my stand mixer I have three cups of flour, two eggs, and some salt. I also have some water and I'm slowly going to incorporate it as my dough forms. Here we go. I am just going to knead it a little bit with my hands combined it and then we're gonna let it rest a little bit before we roll it out and we'll cut it up and drop it in our soup it's the last ingredient hello my friends okay so next up in our chicken pot pie adventure uh i Removed the chicken, the bigger chunks of chicken from the broth. I added the potatoes. I gave the broth a quick taste to see if I needed to season anything else. Uh, and I added a little bit more salt and a little bit more parsley. Uh, and now I am going to shred the rest of the chicken that is left. Okay, friends, we had our chicken broth simmering for about an hour. I took the bigger chunks of chicken that haven't broken up out. I am going to shred the big chunks and then add them back into the broth. Okay, friends, so we have the potatoes simmering in our broth. We have shredded the bigger chunks of chicken that we're getting ready to add back into the soup. We like it meaty. Next up will be to finish our noodle dumplings, whatever you want to call them. Then we will be dropping them in. Okay, friends, I just want to show you all the goodness that we have in here. We are going to let it continue to simmer with the potatoes in there. Uh, until they start to get a little soft and then that's when we know to drop our noodles. Potatoes are soft and the last step is dropping all of our little square dumplings into the dough. I try to drop them in different spots. They do not stick to one another. friends all of our dumpling noodles have been dropped so as you can see they started to float to the top and can we just look at this deliciousness of chicken pot pie all right my friends the last step is obviously tasting and eating it can we just look at this beauty of chicken pot pie